Hey YouTube, today I want to share with you five quick tips to help your target caller out during RBGs. A proper RBG team will generally have a decent target caller. This is somebody who's going to orchestrate team fights and call it who will be the focus of the team's damage and burst. Anyone that's built a pug group from scratch knows that a good target caller is hard to find. There's an art to good target calling. A lot of people get frustrated trying to do it and they quit. These are tips that anyone in your raid can implement, healers included. The first two are for helping you, your target caller, to manage its stress. A frustrated target caller is not effective. The last three tips will be for helping your TC to be more effective at TC. So here we go. The first tip is situational awareness. Sometimes a TC starts calling targets and gets so frustrated when the targets don't die immediately. A TC can easily be focused on the enemy targets and lose track of his team, who's with him. Whenever a target is called, check and see how many DPS and healers are there in the vicinity of your target caller. If there is only a few DPS and the target has, say, a healer with it, call that out. Let that TC know that he's calling targets, but they're not going to die because he just doesn't have the resources to get those dark targets down. At this point, a bad TC will give up TC entirely, throw in the towel, and just be frustrated because he's expecting a team fight and that's the only way he knows how to play the game. A good TC will learn to modify their target calling strategy. This often means focusing less on team kills and more on objectives. Maybe that's spinning a flag, or maybe that's just peeling for healers so that you can hold the flags that you've already got, or nodes, or whatever objective you're around, longer. The second tip, again for, frust for managing a frustrated target caller, is to call out the status of BG targets. Everybody playing in RBGs should have the BG targets add-on. It's sort of a must. But when nobody is getting on target, and they should when the TC is calling such targets, even while that TC is occupied calling out that target's name over and over and over again, what you can do is just subtly, you don't have to talk over the TC, but subtly call out how many people are actually on the target's name. The way I do this is I don't, again, I don't yell over the TC. Uh, often I'll be sitting at base or somewhere else, or I'll, sometimes I'm in the fight, depends on what character I'm playing. But I'll call out just, there's just like this, two people on target, three people on target, four people on target. And all I'm doing is looking at, at my BG targets. I know what target was called and I'm calling out a status very subtly. And what this does is the whole team becomes aware that somebody is watching. And granted, I want to throw out a note, infrequently will you have everybody, or should you have everybody on the same target at the same time. You're going to have dots being spread, you're going to have CCs going out. There's reasons for people to be off target temporarily. But if there's a full team fight and the target's called and only the TC and one other person is on that target, this can help immensely. I've seen it work uh, uh, so often that it's, it's something that I've adopted in my own gameplay over and over and over again. And it helps the TC out just by throwing out that status. Motivate your team. To, play, to pay attention to the TC by playing Big Brother. And I know that can be a negative sort of connotation behind that, but if they know that you're watching and that everybody else knows that, uh, that that number is low, something that WoW players are pretty good about doing is paying attention to numbers and making max, uh, min-maxing. The third tip is to call out alternative target suggestions. Now, be careful with this one. I said suggestions. You don't want to be start in a target calling competition with your target caller. Respect the role. The whole raid needs to know that the target caller, that whatever target he's called, is official. That's the one they should be on. On the same token, other classes will be spreading dots or CC or might be in other parts of the, the map. And if somebody's about to die often to dot damage or just being stupid and way overextended call that out and if a good tc will know that that's going to happen and that 
All it will take is a quick swap to really throw off the other team's healers and to get into that execute range when they can get a quick kill. You don't always have to kill the healers first. It can be DPS that's overextended. It could be somebody who's just eaten dot damage and the healers haven't got quite gotten to them. Or it could be that your healers are being killed a lot and you just need to redirect attention temporarily back to peel for those healers. Uh, another another uh, situation where this might happen is the group is being is tunneling hard on one uh, character, one enemy that's dragging them away from an an, an objective like f spinning a flag or uh, a, a node that we own. You don't want to focus so hard on trying to kill somebody just to get that kill and then lose the objective and lose the game. Tip four: call out your CCs. This not only helps out the TC, but everybody else. Calling out your CCs allows others to chain their CCs with yours. It also helps to avoid diminishing cooldowns or return diminishing returns on those CCs. It also boosts the morale of your team. Even if you're losing terribly, if everybody's working in sync and coordinating their CCs and getting some good chains in, that boosts the the team spirit and morale and, and the feeling that everybody is playing well together even when you're losing a good tc will know how to capitalize on this they'll know that he or she can expect that everybody's going to be on their target and cc'ing others and if he knows that other targets are being cc'd well he doesn't need to worry about those ones needing to be perhaps the next thing to kill it is possible that you, in, in a team fight, a proper team fight, you kill one healer and you don't need to kill all the other healers. You can focus on DPS and really make some good gains in that team fight if the other healers are being CC'd well. Lastly, tip five, call out major CDs popped on a target. What this means is that when a monk bubble or a pally bubble or some sort of major cooldown is being popped to save a target that your whole team has been wailing on especially those cds that result in something that over the next eight seconds five seconds they're not going to take any damage and anybody else wasting resources on them is just wasting them call that out tcs can often uh, they've got a lot to think about they got to think about their own cc's they got to think about their damage uh Depending on the class, they're paying a lot of attention to what's proccing and what's uh, what, their own rot rotation. They got to think about spinning flags and objectives. It's very possible that a TC just doesn't have the attention span to be able to handle all of that. Being able to jump in and say, there's a bubble, or there's a pain suppression, or some other kind of major CD that a healer popped on that target where they're not going to take any damage. They should be able to capitalize on that if they're smart. They may, uh, depending on how late it was called, they may opt to just burn through the CD. It depends on how things are going. But they may also decide to take that time and focus on something else. Spread the damage around, make the healers work. Or maybe go for that execute on somebody who's got, been taking a lot of dot damage and maybe is almost there and just needs a few seconds worth of DPS. So thanks for joining me this week. Those are my five tips for helping your target caller. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are there tips that I missed? Would you add any to the list? Like, subscribe, and share, and I'll be back next week with another video.